I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to do episode 2 of my Minecraft Railway project. Uh, I've actually done a few videos on this same uh, world. Uh, you might recognize some of them if you've seen them. Uh, I built uh, some pyramids and some stained glass towers uh, that you'll see as we're going around on our little tour here. And uh, I've done a few things uh, while working on this uh, city and this railway. And I've expanded my system. Uh, I have like a city here which is a kind of like a central hub that I'm working on. And you'll see I've got raised uh, railroads and uh, walkways in this city uh, which I thought would be kind of nice to do. And uh, I've got various buildings. I've got this kind of castle-like building here. Uh, I also did a video on how I built these towers coming up here and laid them out and everything. Did a video on this uh, stained glass tower here with a beacon in it. And then if we go over here, I did a video on how I laid out this uh, pyramid here with a beacon in it. This pyramid's actually hollow, so you can go inside it. Got a little cage in there. I had trapped a zombie in there, but it got away, I guess. That's kind of way out on the fringes of the city. There's the stained glass tower again. And then we come over here and this is the actual uh, city with the raised rails and sidewalks. Down here I dug a shaft going down. I think I'm going to use this as a, a mine when I'm in survival mode. Uh, kind of planned this out so that as I'm building this in creative mode I can switch over to survival mode so I've kind of planned out resources already so I can get uh, food and supplies when I'm building in survival mode as well. Now the textures I'm using for this world is the LB photorealism uh, resource pack. Uh, they used to be called texture packs but now the newer versions of Minecraft use resource packs which have texture packs in them. Uh, Alright and over here you'll see this kind of uh, odd uh, rectangular square outlined by all these blocks and what I've done here is I've used these to lay out a uh, mine or underground building here. I, I'm using this so that I can gather resources so I have a mine here. And What I did is, is at each corner I sunk down a shaft uh, so that I can go down farther here if I want so that uh, I knew where the boundaries of the underground uh, mine or building would be and, and that's the way I set this up because uh, it's hard to get a frame of reference underground. Uh, it's easy to get confused and lost. Or go under something you don't want to go under. So I just did that to help me plan out the layout. And then go back up here. So I've already mined some resources down there and put them in chests down there for later. Uh, and I will do more of that on times that I'm uh, using uh, survival mode. Let me go back up up here. And so there's the city. I have another brick building over here. I've been working on some rail 
roads that go out farther too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that direction, I have not finished the railroad yet. I'm still working on that. This direction, however, let's go down here. I've got this railroad going out here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, so show you where this takes us. I have this goes out to a different direction. I'm using these uh, railroads to kind of explore this world. And, uh, if you go farther and build different sections of the world, uh, if, if farther away from each other, if I have railways connecting. Another canyon area. Let's see here. And the railroad road goes back in this direction. Over here, I've kind of started to dig into the mountain. I was thinking of like. Uh, creating an area where I would just dig into the face of these uh, hard clay mountains and make uh, buildings out of them. So that's one thing that I'm trying to figure out right now. Let's go up above this and go head back. There's a the track below us. And we'll come back over here to this city. And then we're going to go over here. I have another track that goes out into a different binome. Let's just top down here. Here's the village right here. Some of the village people. Got some wheat here. growing over here. Oh, carrots. I think there is actually a second village near here. Uh, but I have to find it again. I, I kind of got lost when I found it. So maybe I'll find that at some point. Follow the track back. 
And then I have a third area that I've uh, started to build. where I wanted to go right here uh, I'll hop back on there because the railroad goes farther down that direction but what I did down here is I, I built an area to grow wheat because there was some water down here and so I, I put some dirt down and some paths and so this is a whole mess of wheat down here uh, and there's some more water down here so I, I can use this for food as I need it in survival mode. It's nice to be able to use creative mode to build things like this railroad would take forever if I had to get all the uh, iron and everything for the tracks and build it. Uh, so by using creative mode I can build something like these railroad tracks and uh, stretch them out really far uh, although I still have to spend a lot of time because it's pretty extensive railroad, uh, but in survival mode is 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 enjoyable too because it's nice to have to gather the resources and it's also nice to play it where you have uh, the challenge of trying to deal with uh, zombies and such. So uh, both modes have uh, their purpose and in both modes have their kind of. Uh, fun points so uh, you can kind of combine them uh, some people just go uh, and build things in creative mode only or in survival mode only but others uh, combine the two and so that's a nice thing that you can do we just hop in here and continue on our way of another plateau so there's another little experimental ditch I was digging as I said I'm using this world a lot to experiment with things and there's the railroad thought I got lost for a second. The other nice thing about these railroads is when you're flying around they kind of act as a guide. You can follow them. The interesting thing is that when they started flying planes like biplanes and stuff uh, at the turn of the 20th century uh, they really didn't have a lot of uh, ways to guide the plane or to navigate it and they actually used railroads as a way to guide themselves when they were flying around. So you can use railroads is not only a way to get around on a world that you're building but you can use them as a way to kind of uh, guide you if you're flying around in creative mode so that's the nice thing about uh, railroads in uh, Minecraft and here we're back to kind of the central city here that I've been working on 
uh, with the raised walkways and r raised uh, railroads. Another thing I actually need to do, which I've left out because I was building in creative mode and didn't really think about it, was I need uh, ways to get up to these walkways. Uh, there are some, but there aren't enough, really. Uh, I mean, I think there's one way to get on way over at this end and over there at that end, but like in the middle of the city, you can't get up and down from these easily. And so I'll build ways to do that. Uh, that's something you forget when you're in creative mode because you can fly around so you don't think oh, I have to get up to that area whereas if you're building in survival mode you've got to actually sometimes uh, build up a secondary structure to build the main structure you're building and then tear down the secondary structure or you have to build stairways to get up the st structure that you're building and uh, you're more aware of that when you can't fly And there's the rest of the city out there. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.